Hello and welcome to Did I Fix That? And today we're going to be working on the golf cart. I'm uh, just going to do a little routine maintenance on this. Um, going to change the oil and just kind of take a look at this, the uh, air filter, make sure everything's good on this. Just kind of a seasonal thing. Do this once a year. Real simple to work on. If you can um, change the oil on a lawnmower, you can you can do the oil on this. Um, this is the one that has the quiet tech it's called the drive 2 um, this is a 2018 model um, and uh, just under the hood so to speak that's what it looks like and as you're well aware of this is going to be the oil dipstick and this is going to be the fill here this particular um, unit is a fuel injected a single cylinder engine I believe it produces between 11 and 13 horsepower I'm not exactly sure on that um, and requires uh, one quart, is it, of 1030 oil. Uh, I just got the cheap stuff at Walmart. I think it was about 350 for a quart of oil. Um, so the tools you'll need for this is uh, just a basic socket set, uh, a um, oil catch pan, and some Allen wrenches. Um, you'll need a, this is a five millimeter Allen wrench. I uh, just have it on a socket. I have a socket set here. And I've got it attached to, but you can just use the regular Allen wrenches that are look like um, you know 90 degree angles. So the first thing you want to do is uh, get underneath your golf cart, and the first thing you have to do is right up here is the muffler uh, outlet. This, this duct kind of goes onto the muffler. So first thing you need to do is take that off. And it's just pull this rubber like that and back here. Then the next thing you do is grab your five millimeter sockets. And if I get my thumb out of the, there we go. It's held on with four bolts. Um, one, two, then there's two on the other side, exactly the same spot. So we'll break these loose come right out and this one and I will tune back in after I've got all these out and I'll show you the next step so I don't want you to have to watch me do this this is like watching paint dry okay so I've got uh, basically three of the bolts out I've got one in right now just kind of holding uh, holding the this panel on but um, the back side of this uh, plastic panel is held in kind of by this uh, pull a rod here going across that's kind of curved up and around. You'll see here in a second. So I'm going to take the one out up here that I had just kind of loosely holding it in. And the whole panel is going to drop down. I might get this one out. There. So there. Now, just kind of simply lift the panel up a little bit. Get it up. Push our muffler up through there. There and it's out. And here's how this panel is constructed take a look at it so as you can see it's got this little lip down here that kind of sits on that rod like this or that pipe going across like that it kind of acts like a hinge if you will all right so now look back underneath here and we have to get our muffler uh, out of the way this this rubber boot and it just slides off and that's, now you're looking at the, uh, right at the oil drain plug, which is this bolt right here. So now we'll grab a socket and let's see. Uh, that's a 17, is that the right size? Okay, I believe that's what I need unless this is it here. Now it's a 17 millimeter is uh, the size of the socket that you need. So we're gonna break that loose. We're gonna have our drain plant, a pan underneath there. We're gonna break that loose, drain our oil out. And um, might wanna have a rag nearby just to kind of clean it off here in just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now I've got the plug loose. So I'm gonna just reach my hand back there and take it off and the oil will start just pouring out of it. And not a lot of oil in there, like 
I said earlier, it just calls for a quart, but there we go. All right, so that's one uh, season's worth of oil, a little black. Uh, this does not have a uh, oil filter on it, so um, it's kind of important for you to change your oil periodically. Um, I think the owner's manual calls for it every year or like 500 hours. Um, this particular golf cart only has like 180 hours on it. I think this is my third or fourth oil change on it. So at any rate, uh, we'll tune back in in just a second. All right, so as you can see, the oil is done draining. Uh, it's taken, uh, I don't know, three, four minutes. I mean, it's not, didn't take a long time. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, put drain plug back in. Um, I'm gonna put it in by hand initially here. Obviously I'm putting it in by hand. And just kind of let it bottom out, so to speak. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my socket and I do not have a torque specification. This is not like the Porsche that I normally work on, so I can't tell you torque specs and that kind of crap. I'm sure somebody out there has got that for this. So we're gonna just put it on there. I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to strip this rascal out. That's aluminum. I think that's what that block is made out of. So then I just happen to have a little um, cleaner here. Uh, this is carburetor intake cleaner. I guess you could use brake clean. Just kind of spritz it there just to knock the oil or residue that's on there off and just keep everything nice and clean. All right, so I've got that all clean. So what I'm going to do now is go back over, grab my um, muffler um, dealy, put that back on. So give me just a second. I'll go get that piece and we'll put it on. All right, so next thing you gotta do is reinstall your rubber uh, exhaust diverter or whatever the heck they call this thing. Goes on very easily. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Uh, it does have a um, this zip tie clamp on it um, that I C is not reusable, but um, I mean, it's not one of those zip ties that you can take off and put back on. But um, I can assure you, I've never uh, had to replace the zip tie. So, that being said, um, let's see if we can wiggle this puppy back on there. So, just start at the back end of it over here, put that on first, and just kind of push it on. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I might have to not do it one-handed. There, I think it went on. Yeah, it's on. There you go, one-handed. All right, next thing to do is our um, insulation pan. So, as I said earlier, this kind of loops around this back um, frame bar back here. Um, as you can see, these little lips kind of hit into that. So I'll just kind of let it drop down and get that puppy up in there. And that's, that's it there. Okay, that's on. So now, let me do is just grab one of my little bolts in and lift this up and just start one of my bolts just to hold it in. Then I'll go around and tighten up the other four remaining bolts. So I've got that one in right here. We'll start off with that one. There, that'll hold it in. I'll go around and get the, the other four. And the last thing you have to do is on that diverter is pull the rubber tabs back out on the exhaust little diverter dealy and put them back in. So just reach your finger up in there pull it out and around and they just go back in to the little tips right there. One and two, and that's it. So just tighten up all four of these, get those back in, and then we're gonna put some oil in this thing and call it a day. All right, so the last thing to do is just uh, 
fill it up with one quart of your favorite oil. Uh, 10, 1030 is what the owner's manual suggests or recommends or calls for, I guess. So I'll just dump that in there and we'll call it a day. Um, one other thing I just do um, kind of on the yearly um, basis is to uh, just check the the air filter. Um, I don't ride it off road or in dusty areas, so it's it uh, never really have an issue with it. But it's real simple to get at. It's sorry about that. The camera just died. Uh, real simple to get at. Uh, basically, it has these. Uh, latches here this is the air box cover just pop those loose takes about five seconds just pop these off there there and the lid comes right off and there's your air filter um and that'll just come right out and um just examine it make sure there's no i mean it looks as clean I'm sure as it did from day one. Um, they also include a kind of like a pre-filter. Um, so just kind of check that there. I've got a maybe some dog hair or a cobweb or something on there, but that's about it. Um, this thing is is pretty good little unit. It's fuel injected, um, gets tremendous gas mileage, super quiet. I really can't recommend this golf cart. Um, uh, I, I should say I can recommend. I, I highly recommend this thing. I can't recommend it enough. Basically, it's just phenomenal um, gas powered. Um, it's super quiet. Um, it's basically supposed to be like two decibels louder than the uh, electric ones. Uh, fuel efficient. Supposed to get like 45 miles per gallon. Um, so you don't have to worry about your batteries dying. The only battery you'd ever have to replace on it, I guess, would be the starter battery, which is right here. Haven't had a problem with that yet. Um, this is, like I said, a 2018 model. Um, the only other thing you could possibly do for routine maintenance maybe would be um, like changing a spark plug or something like that. But um, I, I pulled it out once to look at it. It looked, looked like it was brand new. Of course, I just only have like 200 miles on the on the unit. Um, so once the oil's in, just take your funnel out, uh, put your drain plug or your, uh, fill plug back in, just hand tight. This thing doesn't have to be stupid tight. And then, um, <clears throat> just check your oil, um, with a dipstick and everybody knows how to do that. One thing I did do on this was I did adjust the uh, Govan Ronix. I got different rims on it from the factory. It comes with just like steel wheels. They kind of like cop wheels, if you will. Um, and back, back in here in this area, you'll see the throttle cable and there's an adjustment on it you can make to kind of give it a little more uh, top end. But uh, at any rate, that's how you do an oil change and kind of look at some basic stuff and make sure everything's good to go on it. Um, did, did I fix it? Heck yeah, I got the oil changed. It took real time, probably took me about 15 or 20 minutes to get it done. So it's pretty simple, something you can do yourself. Save a little money. It costs basically a quarter of oil, $3.50. All right, y'all have a great day.